with Nate Larson. Nate, I'm glad Kate got up there today to do that story because the weather's changing and it's going to change pretty dramatically, isn't it? Big changes on yeah. the way. Yeah, we well, see some of the uh, changes we had today in the price area. Clouds had moved through uh, our area. Some of the fronts had dropped our temperatures leading into the weekend. Watch the sunset go down, though. Gorgeous conditions across uh, central and eastern portions of the state. We've had uh, a nice stretch of weather throughout the day today, minus the cooler temperatures. Enzyme Peak Camera showing calm conditions again tonight across the Wasatch Front. 52 degrees in Salt Lake is where we're at. Uh, Bryce is at 44, 57 in Moab. 70s for southern, far southern Utah, St. George and Lake Powell, just 47 in Cedar City, 46 in Logan. Winds have calmed down some for much of the state, but still a few areas where it's isolated, slightly stronger in Hanksville and over some of the higher terrain there, 16 mile prayer winds there. And in St. George, it's a breezy evening. High pressures building in temporarily. There goes the trough that moved through uh, earlier today and yesterday. High pressure is going to build in as it moves east ahead of this trough that's out off the coastline. It's going to bring some big changes. So it just in time for the Ironman in St. George. Again, the weather's been really nice in southern Utah. We've got gorgeous conditions again for Saturday. As things kick off just before 7, temperatures should be in the 50s. We'll be in the mid-60s at 9. And as things hopefully are wrapping up, should be in the mid-70s by 11 o'clock. So great weather in southern Utah tomorrow, but the winds are going to pick up. So especially in the afternoon for St. George. And it's all thanks to this trough of low pressure that's sliding inland as we get into late tomorrow night into Sunday. This is into Monday even. Lingering impacts as that trough ends up keeping the storm door open. We've got another series of storm systems that move in. This is into Tuesday. Could get a brief break on Wednesday, but then models are showing Thursday. Another trough kind of rotating around the large low that's going to be in place, generating additional showers, at least isolated potential on Thursday as well. Timing it out for you some. This is tomorrow, 5 o'clock. You can see that strong southerly flow. So strongest winds tomorrow across the western part of the state, shifting to southeast Utah on Sunday where we had those wind advisories uh, for western Utah high wind watches for southeast portions of the state fronts expected to be here late tomorrow night into early Sunday showers will pick up yeah maybe a great weekend if you haven't put down any fertilizer just yet on the lawn it should be nice and green with the amount of moisture we're going to be seeing models showing that a good half of an inch maybe an inch and a half of precipitation across the valleys with heavy mountain snow we will show you the areas expected to see uh, winter storm warning uh, criteria for snowfall, but we'll see some snow across the central southern areas as well. So we've got some high elevation snow above 7,500 feet with cooler temperatures. And then as that storm door stays open, we'll continue to see a chance of showers stick around with that moist northwest flow across the region. Here are some of the early total estimates that we're looking at for northern Utah. Over an inch possibly in Provo, Salt Lake, Logan, Evanston a good quarter of an inch. Mountain areas, especially the upper Cottonwoods, maybe up to 24 inches of snow, generally 6 to 12 inches expected. So there's those winter storm warnings kicking off Sunday at 6 a.m. through noon on Tuesday. So it's a prolonged event and we'll continue to see some of the models showing the areas with the highest concentrations of snowfall. Not as much for central southern Utah, but certainly going to get in on some of the action. St. George then windy 86 for tomorrow. We'll see clouds late in the day. Plan on a slight chance of showers tomorrow night as the front moves through dropping to 69 degrees. Windy conditions as well. We'll see 70s Monday, Tuesday, closer to average temperatures Tuesday, but dropping wind. Wednesday, that secondary feature coming in, dropping temperatures for southern Utah, but not bringing moisture. 80 degrees again by Friday. And then for the Wasatch Front, 82 for tomorrow's high. Windy dropping to 60 degrees as we get into Sunday. We'll see showers, especially early Sunday into the afternoon, becoming more scattered by Tuesday. Temperatures in the low 50s is all we'll see for high, so a good 15, almost 20 degrees colder than normal. And then we'll continue to see cool weather Wednesday, not quite as wet, but some isolated showers Thursday, slowly rebounding to next week with 64 and partly cloudy skies. So, yeah, we're getting all the rain for all May the rain. this week.